Okay, welcome back to tutorial 9.0. We'll be looking at diagram and data management. In this tutorial, we're looking at modifying our external data. Okay, our external data is managed where? It has to be managed in our Excel file. As I mentioned earlier, we can't make any changes uh, in, this, uh, in this approach in Visio. So we need to launch our Excel file. And here are our three spreadsheets, truck, Camaro, and Oldie. All I'm going to do here is make a change to the uh, truck spreadsheet. Now, any of these changes, the thing you have to keep in mind, shape ID is your key field. It's what links the uh, Visio shapes to your records. So you, of course, cannot remove or rename this column. You uh, wouldn't change any of these values uh, for the shape ID unless you have made the same exact change in your corresponding Visio shapes. However, leaving that column alone, you can do anything you want here on these other columns. You can delete them, add new ones, uh, add, and of course their accompanying data beneath. Uh, you can rename them, it doesn't matter. You can, you're completely flexible as long as you maintain the shape ID column and values. So I'm going to just create an add another column, call it new. I'll put some uh, dummy data in there. Okay. Of course, if you don't want to add data yet, you don't have to. But I've got something in there, so it'll show up. And then you save it. Okay, I've modified my external data source for truck. I could, of course, do the same at this point if I wanted to for Camaro and Oldie. Okay, we. As I said, we save it and we can close Excel and we'll be ready for the next tutorial where we will refresh the data in our Visio diagram.